Hey, what's good, Crochet family? It's your girl, Treacy Crocheologist, here with um, another vid. So, most of y'all, like myself, are locked in from that Rona. Okay, Rona playing too much. And I was thinking, we gotta spice it up a little bit. The last dude that we had, the Goldilocks, she was getting a little tired. She was running with Jesus a long time, honey. And she was tired, okay? So, I thought, hmm... I had some leftover here, originally was my thought. So I had like a little over a pack left, because it only took me one and barely a quarter of a pack the last time I had, and I thought, oh well, hmm, my braids are still good. That's right, the same cornrow hairstyle that I had three weeks ago, we're gonna reuse it and put some new hair in. Yes, we did, yes, we did. So what we did was, looked at the pack, it wasn't enough hair. I don't know if any of y'all are like me, but I have a huge tote full of hair. When I say full of hair, Rona can come with it because I'm good for a whole year. Sus. The braid part might be the issue, but we good. So that plus my foundation is super mega lock because my homie always gets me together, okay? My average style, y'all know me, four to six. We going for six weeks? And you know this, man. Who got games to be playing, huh? So we, we, we popped it out with um, the Curlfinity mixed with um, the Yonkalon hair. I had this, um, most girls call it the Tony Curl, where it's the long and skinny, it was a 20 inch. So what I did was, it was ombre. It was like the black and then the ombre on the tips. Cut them joints in half, cause you need the small curls around the sides and the bottom. And then the fuller, larger curls up top. So I don't know if you can tell how small that is compared to how looser and wider that one is. The camera's focusing a little bit. But anyway, to this video, okay? Because these curls is giving me life. The back is, is, is tapered, but not as tapered as I would like it to be. But guess what? <laughs> Struggle University, we're going to make this work. This is what we do. This is what we do in 2020, Okay. Life gives you problems, what do you do? You adapt. You pray, you seek God, and you adapt. Once you got your um, foundation laid out straight, thank you, homie, okay? Because she's rocking another three weeks, and then after that, it is what it is. You know, we rocking the pro, then that's what it do. That's what it do, boo. Anything that happened in three weeks, you just come back, <laughs> we know. But what I'm saying, real talk, I'm feeling this way. So anyway, this is a uh, Tracy Crochet. I'll just come to y'all with another hair video on how to stretch your dollars. Okay, all scalps matter. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. I get a y'all later. Dukes out.
So what we did here, basically, we took the long curl, which was the Tony curl, the ombre. Those were the ones I cut in half, and that's pretty much how we got that ombre effect in the back. I used that on the sides and on the back of my hair. Here I'm working on the top middle portion and um, just pretty much installing and placing that hair in. Um, yeah, so that's it on this part. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory, really. It's really easy. Um, the whole thing from start to finish, like the taking down of the old hair, you know, making sure everything was maintenance and well to do, um, installing the other hair, and pretty much cutting it, which is what I pretty much did. I didn't show y'all the other part, but I cut quite a bit of it out, trying to take the size to get it to be even. It was a little uneven. The back, I kind of got to work on. Considering this is my first time doing it, though, wasn't bad. Like... It's quarantine, you know what I mean? I'm going to be in the house chilling, but if I got to get out and run somewhere and take off my bonnet, boop, I'm gone. Also, quick note, when separating the curls with this hair, you do not want friction and frizz. That is the number one, like, holy grail. If you don't know nothing else from this channel, frizz free, okay? So on my hands, you don't see it there, but I do have oil that is applied to my hands. And on separating the curls, you try to automatically separate it and keep it to the point where the curl still keeps its integrity and shape because you want volume in order for your hair to achieve the desired um, effect in a style. So here we're just trying to find what works best. Looks like a side part is normally how I rock first and best. So we're just gonna keep continue styling till we get to the desired look that we want. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it on this.